hello what's the value of d given that you have 5 to the power of 4 equals open parenthesis d minus 2 close the parenthesis to the power of 4 then let's have it to be solution from here recall that when we have a to the power of m to be equals b to the power of m so far they have the same power this implies that we have a to be equals b so far they have the same power meaning we quit the base so likewise from here they have the same power to be 4 and 4 so here will be 5 equals d minus 2 and so from here we can see we have d to be equals let's take this one here will be 5 plus 2 so from here we have d to be equals 5 plus 2 will give us 7 so d equals 7 is the first solution but i must tell you that d equals 7 is not the only solution for the problem given to us then from here let's express this power 4 to be equals 2 times 2 so meaning we are going to have from here we can have it as d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 times 2 then equals 5 to the power of 2 times 2 will give us 4. Taking the whole of this time here we have here to be d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 times 2 minus 5 to the power of 2 times 2 set this side to be equal to 0. Now we recall that when we have a to the power of m in parentheses to the power of n we can have this as a to the power of m times n so meaning we can touching this to be this so here will be d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 then we have this as this then minus 5 to the power of 2 as this then here will be to the power of 2 still equals 0 now we have this to be d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 then we have another parentheses to the power of 2 then this we can have it as 5 to the power of 2 will give us 25 in parentheses to the power of 2 still equals 0 now me looking at this this one has power 2 here this one also has power 2 it's a difference of 2 square meaning that when we have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 equals as when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b so comparing it with this one we are going to have our a to be equals d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 and we have our b to be equals 25 then when we apply this algebraic expression we are going to have this to be d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 plus 25 then again multiply by d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 25 still equals 0 now for this time to be equal to 0 is either we have the first one to be d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 plus 25 to be equals 0 or we have the second one here d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 25 equals 0 and let's say for case 1 we have d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 let's take this one to here will be minus 25 so from here so we have to take the square of both sides d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 here will not be positive or negative root of minus 25 this and this we cancel out so we have d minus 2 equals positive or negative root of 
25 multiplied by root of minus 1. Then from here, when we have root of minus 1 equals i, so from here, this is a perfect square. We have 25 to be equals 5 to the power of 2. So the root of this will give us 5. So we have d minus 2 equals positive or negative 5i. Taking this one to here, we have d to be equals 2 positive or negative 5i. This happens to be the complex solution. Then let's go for case 2 from here. So from here, we have this to be d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2 equals 0. Applying difference of 2 square, that is a square minus b square. Because as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So this will be d minus 2, then plus 5, then multiply by d minus 2, then minus 5, equals 0. From here we have d minus 2 plus 5 will give us plus 3. Again, multiply by d minus 2 minus 5 will give us minus 7 equals 0. So from here we have d plus 3 to be equal 0 or we have d minus 7 to be equal 0. And from here we have d to be equals minus 3. On that solution for the problem, then this d will be equals 7. This one justified the previous solution. Then from here, to check, we have 5 to the power of 4 equals d minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 4. Then when d equals minus td, let's verify. We have 5 to the power of 4. This is going to give us as when we have minus td, minus 2 to the power of 4. From here, minus td minus 2 will give us minus 5 to the power of 4. Is it going to be equals 5 to the power of 4? When we have negative to the power of even, we also have it to be positive to the power of even. So from here we have 5 to the power of 4 will be equals 5 to the power of 4. So this is true. Let's also check for d equals 7. So from here we have 5 to the power of 4 will be equals 7 minus 2. Then are they going to be equals? 7 minus 2 will give us 5 to the power of 4, which equals 5 to the power of 4. Now, so far the left hand side equal to the right hand side. This implies that d equals minus 3, 7. Satisfy the problem given to us.